The Ministry of Telecommunications of Information Society, in their listing plan, with the convenience, with the cooperation of Central University of Ecuador, the purpose of training in TIC present. Con el fin de capacitar en TICS, presenta. Assembly and Maintenance of Computers. Stage 1. The Beginning of Computers. Historic Review. El Inicio de las Computadoras. Reseña Histórica. There are several versions about the making and creation of computers. Nowadays, computers are used widely in several or many business areas, industries, science, entertainment, and education. Computers have been developed and get gotten better according to the necessities of man to realize and make works and calculations faster and more precise. One of the first mechanic tools of calculus was the abacus in the Middle East which is compound but a frame which has wires, copper wires, that have a series of beads that go from one side to the other. 1642. Blas Pascal developed a calculator with spinning wheels that is the predecessor of the actual desk calculator that could only add and subtract. It was called Pascal Calculator. In the beginning, machines were compounded or formed by empty pipes or tubes, which accomplished or fulfilled only one function, executing calculations. But at the same time, there were technical problems with the, that, with the advantage of technology, have been polished. For example, machines were too big and consumed too much energy. As a consequence, the machine emitted too much heat, and it turned to overheat. The access of utilization to this type of computers, it was only destined for trained personnel. Then new machines appear which replace the empty tubes with transistors that allow to give an idea about the solution for the initial problems, and it also makes a noticeable improvement in the functionality of a computer that started being more than a machine just for calculations, but it already already had an operative system included in it, made it more accessible to different users. Charles Babbage, 1822. English mathematician and engineer, considered as the father of the modern computer, because in 1822 he built a differences machine which was based on the principle of a spinning wheel that was operated by a simple crank. After this machine was substituted by another one that could be programmed to evaluate a wide interval of functions which was known as the Charles Babbage analytic machine. Then we also get integrated machines that are compound by different circuits that reduce the size of computers in a big scale. There is also a massive storage device 
which is invented now, and operative systems, more friendly users, so a lot of different people could use it with basic knowledge. Posteriorly, we get microchips that are machines that are created with microprocessors that allow each machine to develop with speed and operation. That means that the processor gets better with and the machines go faster at the moment of receiving instructions of each user. It is also very important to mention that technology's development and the appearance of the internet has developed telecommunications widely and with time it has been found that we can make it better such as systems and multimedia audio and video Finally, we get an evolutionary technology. That is the artificial intelligence machines that help men in different fields with the capacity of decision and they manage different sciences as a digital electronics, robotics and a lot of different sciences.